DUI suspects crash into cars, run away, and sleep on the weed. And some even pass out and have to be rescued before being jailed. These are the six times DUI suspects had meltdowns before getting arrested. Leave me alone! Don't touch me! Get off of me, you Leave me alone! I'm just getting away from you! Get off of me! Get off of me! This woman named Priscilla had just crashed her Tesla while driving under the influence of alcohol. When the cops arrived to get her safely out of the car, they noticed the smell of alcohol in her breathing. She's okay now. Ma'am. Baby. Ma'am. Baby. I'm outside. Priscilla, you gotta come out. Ma'am. Ma'am, are you injured? Are you okay? Ma'am, are you injured? <laughs> You don't feel safe, why? Why? Ma'am. What's up? Ma'am, you said. <laughs> okay. You're not entitled to a lawyer at a motor vehicle stop. Priscilla will continue to deny coming out of the car as well as medical attention. Ma'am, step out, please. Ma'am. Not hanging up the phone and being hysterical at the officers is a typical sign of a Karen's guilty behavior. When she finally realizes that the cops know she has been drunk driving, things go downhill for her. Nevertheless, the bad attitude peaked even after the arrest. Priscilla, this person assaulted you, we can help you. No? Priscilla, come back here. Have a seat. Have a seat. So, seriously? Get off of me! Get off of me! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Don't touch me! Get off of me, you fucking asshole! Priscilla will be charged with DUI and reckless driving. This time, the cop witnessed a vehicle fail to stop at a red light in the middle of the night. The driver is intoxicated while this pursuit is happening. Little does the officer know this man is about to cause complete chaos. Take the keys out of the ignition. Turn the car off! They're taking off northbound. Back, you piece of shit. Get your fucking hands behind your back now. Heather, I'll stay with him. Why don't you go direct them? 
Yeah. I'm gonna get him. Turn over. Yep, 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 I got it. Is that on my back? You just stay right here. There you go. Oh. Right there. Please throw up. Go ahead, throw up, man. Right. You're gonna throw up right here in this spot. You just stay right here. You're still connected to the taser, so if you try to do anything I'm stupid, gonna, I'm gonna zap your ass again. Please, you understand me? Turn over, okay. You're fine right here. Please let me turn over. Turn over. You're not turning over on your back because if you throw up, you're gonna choke on your shit. I mean, I know, but can I just sit up? No. Up? You can stay right here. I'm mean, gonna just sit like this. That's it. I'm not. You're not gonna, gonna sit on your back because if you throw up, you're gonna fucking choke on it. Can I just sit on my side like this. So that's it. I'm all just all messy. Fine. Can you stand up a second? You just tased me, dude. You really okay? Yeah. Do you see your car? What's that? Do you see your car? Oh yeah, it's, it's bad. It's bad. I knew I was getting egress like that. Oh, I was never. Been, I've I never been that scared in my entire life. Like, I didn't, didn't even see him at all. Miraculously, the officer who crashed into the man's car did not receive any injuries. The man, on the other hand, would be charged with hit and run involving injury, reckless driving, resisting or failing to stop, possession of THC, obstructing an officer, criminal damage to property, and causing injury while operating under the influence. Late at night, officers were dispatched after a call that reported a two-vehicle collision with possible injuries. All right, thank you. I don't see any blood or anything on there. Uh, I did not see anything besides, I took a picture of that alcohol. So this car was coming, you blew the stop sign, black car hit us. Yep. That's why these airbags are off, okay. Yep. So we don't have anything else in the vehicle? No, nothing that I can see. Did I you? have that dude's gun in my vehicle. Okay. Uh, so he didn't do anything wrong, he was just driving. I think we have enough with this vehicle then. I took all the pictures. I'll, uh... This is when the officer was told that the firefighters found the owner of the car, later identified as a man named Rory, sleeping in the weeds nearby. What they find will not be shocking to any of them. The driver who fled the scene on foot after crashing into another car is now hiding in the weeds. And it's not his first time driving under the influence. He had been caught and charged for DUI seven times before this incident. Hey! Wake up for us! Shit. Wake up, oh my God. Hey, wake up, bud. Put your hands on your Okay. You injured? The fire department. You injured? Get your arm behind your back there, bud. All right, thanks. Okay, we're going to walk over to my car, okay? It's right over there. Oh, let me grab your phone down here. You have any weapons on you, do you, boss? No, sir. You just go right to the front of my car. I'm just going to search in, make sure you don't. You don't have any needles or anything? No, sir. On the bracelet for? Oh, I, I don't know. Um, do I? I okay. What we're going to do is we're going to take a seat in the back of my car, okay? Rory would slightly open up about his medication use and accept whatever is coming his way. He has no intentions to save himself from the law whatsoever. So there was an accident on the road, right? There's medication that belongs to you in the vehicle. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I understand. I don't know none of that. I'm so sorry about that. Okay. I need you to be honest with me, though. Where were you coming from today? Who, me? Yes. Oh, I just came from um, my mom's house earlier today. Whose vehicle is that? Vehicle. What's that? Vehicle. The one, the one with your medication and stuff in it. Well, I have nothing with me. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. There's, we're gonna get camera footage of it. We're gonna show, if you're walking away, you're gonna get an additional charge for obstruction, okay? Yes, I don't wanna sir. do that. Yes, sir. I understand uh, everything you're talking about. I didn't do none of that. Okay. You don't wanna discuss any of that? Discuss what, sir? You done. You, do you want an ambulance to look at you? No, I'm fine. He said he's fine. 
All right. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to disrespect your life or whatever happened. I was sleeping the whole time. I just woke up. I just barely woke up. I don't understand. How did you end up over there? All right, we'll get out of here. Listen, man. I don't know, man. I'm hurting right now. Okay, I'm sorry. Why are you hurting? I just woke up. I'm so sorry. Okay, do you normally sleep on the weeds like that? Never. I just... What made tonight any different? Sorry, I didn't do nothing wrong, okay? I'm so sorry. If you think there's something wrong, I'm so sorry, okay? I'm done talking to you, okay? Okay. Just hang tight, all right? Yes, sir. Rory will be arrested on his eighth offense of driving while intoxicated. After a witness reported a major vehicle crash, police were dispatched to the scene. It was also reported that a truck driving at 50 miles per hour ignored the stop sign and struck another vehicle in the intersection. The truck driver was seen throwing cans of alcohol out of his vehicle and running on foot before being caught by a man in the neighborhood. Who are you? Um, the, one, the guy you arrested, my, my husband's uncle. He just called me and told me that he was running. I don't know. Yeah, yeah so, I mean, very quickly, I mean, he, hit, he was involved in a car accident and he ran away. So. Is he under the influence? It looks like it. Okay. You still have to do the test to determine if he's actually under the influence. But so more than likely, yeah. He took off. Hey, he, he was driving. And he was trying to hide the keys. When did he take off? Just about uh, 10, ten minutes. Ten minutes. Yeah. I already told the other guys. He took off ten minutes ago. Yeah, I witnessed it from that. Uh, I saw the whole thing. Oh He was driving this one. Uh, the, 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 the passenger that owns the car is in the ambulance, uh -huh. and the guy was driving. Uh, he was here a while, and then he took off. He just started walking. Who's involved in the crash? Is it just this car? That car right there, the guy's down, laying down there. Okay, and then this one? Okay. And, uh, the witness testimonies confirm that the driver, later identified as Jose Gutierrez, had been speeding, resulting in a vehicle crash. So one more time. This car was going, was turning from this street, yeah, going okay. this way. Okay. The and the white car was straight. coming, coming straight. Yeah, he was going like 50, like he was going really fast. Blue stop sign and hit him, and then this car flipped over here. Okay, thank you. Jose would be arrested on one misdemeanor count of driving while intoxicated. The cops were dispatched on reports of a drunk man passed out behind the wheel. When the officers arrived on the scene, the man was indeed passed out as the music blared inside the locked car. Several tries later, the cop decides to break the car window to get inside. Cops notice a strong smell of alcohol inside the vehicle. The cops will apply a sternum rub to get the man to wake up. On the other hand, the car is being searched for possession of drugs. More empty beer cans. Uh. 
The man will be transferred to the hospital and later charged with a DUI. That vehicle's listed stolen. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know. When officers were informed of a stolen vehicle in the parking lot of Houston Dental Clinic, a cop was immediately dispatched to the place. From stealing a car to possessing methamphetamine combined with an extremely annoying attitude, this woman would give all the reasons to the officer to arrest her. Jesus Christ. There's somebody else in the car? No, there's nobody. Oh, please, Relax, sir. relax, relax. You're okay. Oh, relax. God. Come on, no. You're okay. Why, why? Where's Hey, we got that stolen car. I don't know. It's not mine. Then why are you in it? you have anything on you? What do you have on you? Hey, Anna, could you come do a female search for us? It's when the officer placed his hand in her pocket that the reaction got him thinking something was off about the situation. Relax. Are you okay? Yeah. What's wrong? Oh. Okay, big old thing of meth in your pocket. That would be why, huh? Just loose candy? Okay. Get that penny for you. I don't see anything else obvious. We'll wait for Anna for the rest. Yeah. I don't have anything else. You already got it. Just park there. <laughs> What's your name, ma'am? You're gonna have to identify yourself. Are you gonna get another charge? <laughs> oh God, please, Lord Jesus Christ, man. <sighs> Step on out for a second. We're gonna have a female search. We need to double check. Anything in your bar or anything? Yeah. Need some gloves? Take a breath. Spread your feet apart for me. The cop begins to further investigate the incident. Did y'all see her driving? Yeah, she was driving this car. Yeah. She came in. I saw her. You saw her driving? That would be perfect. I, could I just get your information for our report? It'd be perfect. So we just need someone who saw her driving. Perfect. And do you have like a business phone number? Yeah, so we're State Patrol Services. State Patrol Services. And we are the security guard for the whole shopping center here. Perfect. So that car is actually stolen. Okay. And she had a big old rock of meth in her pocket. Oh, good. Yeah, so she's going to go to jail. Yeah, and we're going to recover that vehicle. Yeah, no, I definitely did see her. So, Perfect. Yes. And she was driving that, she that blue car right there? The car, yeah. Perfect. What's she wearing so I can go t talk to her? Exactly. I don't want to get her in trouble. Oh, well, then, then it's on you. I mean, it, she was not driving. Oh, well, she was driving. Was the doctor. What, what doctor did you take her to? Because we're going to go look at the cameras. She's pregnant, sir. She's pregnant. Okay, well, we're going to go look at the cameras and make sure you're telling me the truth. Are you telling me the truth? I am telling you the truth. I'm not lying. Okay, what's she look like? What's her name? It sounds to me like you're lying. I'm not lying. Well, then tell me. So I can verify what you're saying. I mean, what good is that going to do? Like, what, what, what good is that going to do? Like, what? I can verify that you're bringing somebody here, that somebody else was driving the car instead of you. She was not driving. And they told you that I was driving, didn't they just tell you that I was yeah, driving? Yeah, they did. The woman will be charged for stealing and possession of drugs. Head to our channel for more intense suspect cop encounters.